Let me tell you a bit about the starting point for the installation of my AIM solo data logger. Um, when I got the car back from 4040 after installing the roll cage, uh, they had installed the um, Solo 2. And there was nothing wrong with the installation. It's got two connections. One is for the Smarty Cam, and the other one was actually cabled into the OBD socket, so with this cable. So you can see it's got that connector on the end and then the OBD connector. Now the problem with the OBD connection is on these cars, uh, the gateway, or JBE, does not provide access to all of the metrics through the OBD CAN bus, which is called a DCAN. And although some cars have um, the other CAN buses wired into the OBD port, um, this car does not. It just has the K line and the uh, D bus um, or D CAN um, buses uh, wired in. So I already knew this, and uh, so I decided that I was going to uh, swap over the connection to wire it directly into the ECU, into the um, high-speed CAN bus, which is the powertrain CAN bus, PT CAN. Now, apparently, you can cut the plug off of this, and this has got the appropriate connectors for the CAN bus. But I decided not to do that because I thought if I mess this up, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be one cable down and still have to buy another cable. So in the end, I decided to pay the additional £42, I think it was, for the uh, ECU cable. The other alternative, and I did speak to AIM about this, the alternative is you can wire the high-speed CAN, the PT CAN, into the OBD uh, socket down, right down the bottom here. Um, let me see if I can fish that out. Okay, so you can see I've got my I've got a scanner connected to it at the moment, um, because some cars do have that connected. But as the guy at AIM said to me, the only problem with that is that if that upsets upsets your scanners and causes your scanner to incorrectly register the type of car you've got, then maybe that's going to cause more grief than it's worth. So I decided not to go that route either. So that's that's our starting point. We're going to take out the OBD connection which I've already stripped out and uh, connect in the direct uh, connection into the ECU uh, PT CAN bus. To fit the AIM solo unit um, I've pulled the cable up through the duct at the back of the ECU box. Uh, there are six connections on the cable but two of them aren't used because they're for um, RS232 connections which I'm not using so that leaves four connections I need one 12 volt supply so that's one of them I need a ground which I think is the black one yep ground um, and then I need CAN bus high which they've marked on here as CAN plus and CAN bus low, which I guess they've marked as CAN minus. Yeah, CAN minus. I've pulled a plug off of the ECU, and within that plug, there is a CAN bus connection. So uh, the red wire is CAN low, and the blue and red is CAN high. So that gives me the two CAN connections. I've got a ground that's going into my ECU switch that I've got for my CarTech isolator. So I'm just going to uh, go back to where I spliced in the ground and um, put, put my ground in there. And then I need a 9 volt supply. I had considered using the 9 volts coming directly from the CarTech unit, but strictly it should, the, the DL should come on with the ignition. But there is a problem with that, actually. There's a problem because when you when you finish a race, you often want to um, download the, the stats off of the logger. And I, I don't want to have to turn the ignition on to do that. I don't mind turning on powering up the car 
It's just I don't want to power on the ignition. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead with my original plan, which is to splice into this 9 volt, uh, sorry, this 12 volt supply from the car tech unit. So when the car is switched on, this will go live. That means the uh, DL will be, um, the AIM Solo will be powered on or will have power. You can still switch it on and off, I think, from the front of it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. What it did mean is I had this rather unnerving, um, I was quite nervous about doing this, pulling this connector out of this plug. The reason is because I need to wind it, unwind it a bit so that I can splice into it. Um, I'm going to try and splice into it without cutting through the wire. I've seen another guy doing this on an E, um, what was he doing it on? E. 36 m3 i think it was or might be e46 m3 so there is another youtube video that shows how him installing an aim solo dl on his bmw m3 so you could search that out if you've got another um another model um one thing that's different on his one is that his um can bus connections are a different color scheme they're yellow and brown and yellow and red, I think, or something like that. They, they, they're yellow anyway, the main colour. Uh, on this car, they're not. This is, uh, this is definitely can low and this is can high. Oh, by the way, this is the um, PT CAN bus, powertrain CAN bus, not the low-speed body K CAN. I've very carefully skinned this wire just there. Um, so now I'm going to, I've got some flux actually, I'm going to put some flux around that and also then um, put some flux on the, uh, on the other wire that I'm going to connect. So in the end I did tin the main wire, the red wire, and then uh, wrapped the other wire around it painted a, a very small amount of flux on and then soldered it's all right it's solid um, years ago I did a craft apprenticeship and I had to solder over and over again solder stuff until my tutor was satisfied I think if he saw this he'd probably throw a fit but um, it's good enough it's good enough and uh, what I'm going to do now is put some heat shrink tubing over it um, just to uh, hold it in place and, and seal it up. One thing I should add is make sure you move the wires out of the um, ECU box or right over to one side. What you don't want is blobs of solder dropping into the ECU box because that would could give you some real grief. You've got to love heat shrink tubing. It hides everything. So um, that's pretty good. Uh, I probably will wrap them back around a bit, but um, I'll do the other one and then get them back into the um, plug assembly and uh, plug it back into the ECU. OK, all done. So just to recap, uh, the positive feed is coming off the um, feed from the CarTech unit, which goes via a um, three amp fuse anyway, so that's fairly safe. Um, the earth is spliced into the same earth as I used for the um, for the relay that I installed. So um, we're spliced in there. And then we've got the two CAN bus connections on the red and the blue and red uh, wires that go into the ECU. And then I've just sealed off the ends of the um, RS-232 connections. needed to change the protocol on the AIM and uh, upload a new configuration so it's set to uh, BMW PT6 and that um, seems to make it work now so you can see that um, it's reading live RPM figures which it wasn't doing before so uh, it's looking good.